Hello and welcome. In this video I'll show you how to install Rust on Windows and code your first application using Visual Studio Code. Rust is an exciting programming language and I highly recommend giving it a shot. If you're interested in programming Rust on Windows, follow these steps and you'll be up and writing code in no time. Before we can begin, the Rust compiler requires the Microsoft C++ build tools to do its job. Visual Studio comes prepackaged with these build tools. However, VS Code does not. You can find the Visual Studio Build Tools 2019 version here. It's free to download and install. Navigating to this link will take you to a page entitled Thank You for Downloading Visual Studio. Don't be fooled by this title. The Build Tools will begin downloading shortly after clicking the link. Once you've downloaded the build tools, execute the setup. Select the option to install the C++ build tools and click the Install button. Upon completion, close the window entitled Visual Studio Installer. Next, head on over to the installation page at rust-lang.org slash tools slash install and click the gargantuan button labeled Download Rust init.exe. I'll choose the 64-bit option since I'm running a 64-bit installation of Windows 10. There are a few alternate ways to install Rust, but I don't recommend them. Even though you may be tempted, I strongly suggest not installing Rust through Chocolatey, as it doesn't appear to install all of the required tools in the tool chain, mainly RustUp. With RustUp missing, you won't be able to get the Rust language server, RLS, up and running in Visual Studio Code. When you click on the button, your browser will download the rustup init.exe executable, which is essentially a command line installer. Proceed along with the defaults until the installation is complete. Installing Rust will alter your machine's path environment variable, so once the installation is complete, you'll need to launch a new command prompt for changes to take effect. Let's verify that Rust was successfully installed by opening a new command prompt. We'll echo the path variable and see that the .cargo slash bin folder has indeed been added to the path. Next, we'll execute rustup dash dash version. If you see a version number, the toolchain should be successfully installed. We can then verify that the latest version of Rust and all of the other tools in the toolchain are installed with the following command line, rustup update. Now that Rust is installed, we can finally launch VS Code. Note that if VS Code was running before the Rust installation completed, you'll need to restart it for the environmental changes to take effect. There are a variety of VS Code extensions that support Rust. I found the Rust extension pack to be a great pick on the marketplace. Not only does it bundle the Rust RLS official extension, but it includes the most popular Cargo and Toml plugins available. To install this extension pack, Navigate to the Extensions panel or type Control shift x Enter Rust Extension Pack in the Search panel. Click the Install button. The only deficiency in the Rust Extension Pack is the lack of test integration. Unfortunately, there currently isn't a lot to choose from. However, there is one that appears to do a decent job. Rust Test Explorer. Follow the steps above to install this extension and you'll be able to navigate and execute unit tests from the Test Explorer panel. Now let's create a simple Hello World style Rust project in VS Code. Open a new empty folder. In the Explorer panel, create a new file named cargo.toml with this information.
Now let's create a new directory named source, src. Within that directory, create a file named main.rs with this content. Every time you choose to build your code, VS Code will execute a default task. We'll configure code to execute the cargo build command line every time you kick off this build process. Open the command palette by pressing Ctrl Shift P and type in build and select tasks configure default build task. Select Rust Cargo Build. This should create a tasks.json file that has a single default build task. Now, every time you press Ctrl Shift B or run a build from the command palette, VS Code will execute cargo build. Now, let's knock out those unit tests. Just like with the build task, Code also executes a default task when you choose to run unit tests. To get you up and running, we'll create a simple test that always fails. Open the main.rs file and add a simple test below the main function. Save the file and open the command palette again. Type in task and select tasks configure default test task. Select rust cargo test. This will add a cargo test task to the tasks.json file. Now, every time that you run the test task, VS Code will execute the cargo test command and provide feedback in the terminal panel. And indeed, when we execute the tests, the terminal shows that the test failed. If you would prefer to execute your unit tests directly from a UI, you can execute tests directly from Test Explorer. If your tests aren't showing up in Test Explorer, press the circular refresh button to refresh the test list. Now let's talk about some quality of life improvements. The thought of typing cargo run every time I want to run my app is not very enticing. I also want to be able to debug my app. I thought debugging Rust in code was going to be a bit of a pain until I found a blog by Bryce Van Dyke entitled Debug Rust on Windows with Visual Studio Code and the MSVC Debugger. His post is awesome. Read it through if you get a chance. I put a link to it in the description. If you don't want to read the whole article and still want to take advantage of debugging Rust in Code, perform the following steps. Install the C++ C++ extension. Install the native debug extension. In the debug panel, show all automatic debug configurations. Click Add Configuration. Select the C++ Windows environment. This will create a new launch.json file. In that launch.json file, change the program value to be workspace folder slash target slash debug slash hello world.exe and save the file. Your launch.json should look similar to mine. Next, you'll need to alter your settings to allow breakpoints in Rust files. Click File, Preferences, Settings. The Settings tab will open. In the Search Settings text box, enter the text Breakpoint. Click the checkbox to allow setting breakpoints in any file. I don't personally want to be able to set breakpoints in all of my files, but I haven't found a better alternative yet. If you find one, make sure you leave a comment below. Now, when you hit F5, VS Code will start debugging a new instance of your program. You can add breakpoints where needed. So there you have it.
We now have a simple Hello World application written in Rust using Visual Studio Code and running on Windows, complete with unit tests and debugging capabilities. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please help me out by clicking those like and subscribe buttons. And if you want to be notified when I post a new video, press the notification bell icon. Do you have any interest in future video content? Feel free to leave some ideas in the comments section. I'd love to hear from you.